Hey friends, so I have a question for you. Are you constantly stretching and pulling yourself to please others? Hey friends, happy Thirsty Thursday, where you quench your health and well-being needs. My name is Coach Jamie, and I am the owner and coach at my coaching firm, Whole You Health. If you'd like to learn more about what I do at Whole You Health, you can go to my website, www.wholeletteruhealth.com. So today we're going to be talking about giving self-permission. And it all starts with the people that I work with. So I work with many different individuals and a lot of those individuals come to me for similar challenges that arise within their life. One of the common themes that come up or challenges is constantly trying to please others. And this can come up for a variety of reasons. Maybe there's a big identity shift that my client is about to go through and they don't want to hurt another individual that they really care about. Maybe they don't want to let another individual down or whatever the reasons. It can be very, very complex. So oftentimes when we talk and explore this stretching and pulling of self, we talk about what it would be like to stop and give self permission to take care of their own needs first. And this can be no better demonstrated than one of my members. For this video, I'm going to call her Celia. Celia is one of those individuals who has always stretched and pulled herself in different directions to always try to please others. Celia is going through a major identity shift currently. And after years and years of pulling herself in these different directions to constantly try to please others, her well-being has dramatically suffered. Well, this last year, uh, she finally got to the point where she said, I'm tired. I don't want to suffer anymore. I want to be happy. And so she made this decision that she was going to focus on herself. And this is a huge decision. And it's amazing for Celia to take action on this. And the way that she took action on this was by receiving help. And she did this through me. And so we talked to each other about what it's like to pull herself in different directions, and then when it came to giving herself permission to focus on herself. We have now been working together for about three months, and we're finishing up this three-month program, and she said something very profound in our last session. She said that she's accomplished more within the last three months than she has in the last few years by prioritizing and giving herself permission. How amazing is this? So here's an invitation to you. The invitation is to give yourself permission. And permission is complex. You have to give yourself permission in many different aspects of your life. So if you'd like to learn more, I invite you to go to one of my amazing friends, colleagues, and owner of Mighty Mama Wellness, Cynthia Shockley, her eight-week workshop called Permission to Play. This permission to play will explore your shame, your guilt. It will also explore gender, your relationship with your body, many different aspects around permission and how to give yourself permission to play and be. And I cannot speak highly enough about Cynthia. She is an amazing human being. She is extremely bubbly. She is extremely giving. And when she walks into a room, she fills that room full of sunlight. So I invite you to give her a shot and try out this eight week permission to play workshop series. And I am even one of the presenters in week two. So please register. If you'd also like to learn more about me, you can go to my website, www.wholeletteruhealth.com. Thank you all. Have a great day. And don't forget, give yourself permission today. Alrighty, bye.